Hello there! In this video I'm going to show you how you can annotate and create a perfect circle like this one on your screen during a Zoom video call. And by the end of this tutorial you will also learn how you can save all your annotations as a PNG image or a PDF file. So let's get started! First thing you need to do during your Zoom video call is hit the button share to share your screen. Remember, you can share your entire screen or just an application window and I'm going to select this second option. I'm going to click share and you have your regular uh, Zoom uh, toolbar on the top and you need to press the annotate icon and you will have this tool sidebar that you can move around your screen and you can also put it in on the top of your screen. One thing you need to learn is that you can dock this. If you press the three buttons for the options, you can dock the toolbar. And if you try to put it in the middle, you cannot do it. It's going to move to the left or the right or the top. So if you want to undock the toolbar, just press there. I'm going to send it to the side. And what I want to do is show you all the elements you can insert on your screen while you're sharing it on the Zoom video call. The first thing is the text box. So you can write something here and you can resize this text box. And if you also select the text and head over to color here, you can ch change the color of the text. Also, you can make it bold or you can change the size of the text. And that's the first element you can insert. If you want, you can select this element and move it around. And you can see that as soon as I hover the mouse over the element, my name pops up. This is going to be the same with other participants that are making annotations on their screen. Uh, the second thing and uh, probably the one you are going to use the most are the pen and the shapes. Okay, so with the pens you can make like lousy figures like this one and you can also have a vanishing pen. You know, you can uh, highlight something and it's going to disappear. You can highlight something permanently and as I show you at the beginning of this video, you have a smart pen to create figures, like perfect figures, uh, if you are trying to draw something, with, especially with your mouse, and it's going to look horrible, you can correct that. You know? There you go. That's the smart pen. You can change the line width of your pen, and also you can insert shapes. You know, you can insert lines, you can insert arrows, you have these shapes, you know, a diamond. And if you want to create a perfect diamond, press shift on your keyboard and you will control exactly how you want it to be. The other thing is, uh, you can insert are the stamps. You know, you can put a arrow here uh, or you can put a star here, you know, next to this. And you have these other elements, heart uh, and interrogation mark. And the one I think it's going to be most useful if you are participating with other people, for example, students, and you want them to point to something with their names on it, ask them to use the spotlight arrow. Uh, because once they use that and they point to something, for example, this circle, uh, the arrow is going to have their name on it and they can only use one arrow with their name. If they click in other part of the screen, it's going to move it and the other one is going to disappear, you know? So as soon as they hit something, you can make a game, for example, select something on the screen and you can see, or you can make a survey, put different options in the screen and uh, your students can select and you can see all the arrows where are uh, going to be uh, on the screen. If you want to erase specific things, you can click the eraser here and just touch part of the element 
and you're good to go. Uh, I'm going to show you at the end how you can clear everything at once. As I told you, the color, you can change it while you're using uh, the pen and the shapes and the text. You know, with the text, if you press here, you can change like th uh, some th things about the font and with the shapes, you can change the color. You can undo uh, actions uh, while sharing your screen. So if I want to bring back that line or that triangle, I can do it and I, I can also redo an action. And that's very helpful if, if you uh, deleted something, for example, and you want to bring it back. If you press the trash can, you have three options. You can clear all drawings. I'm going to hit that and I'm going to undo this action. You can only clear, or you can also clear only your drawings. Um, and you can also clear uh, the other people's drawings. If you want to keep yours <laughs> and delete everything else, you can do that. And once you've done this, and let's say you are in one of one of your slides and you want to move to the next one, but you want to keep all the annotations you and other people made, you have to press this arrow to save it. So you can save this as a PNG and I'm going to press that and you, you have already saved this as a PNG and you can open it or you can uh, save it as a PDF. So uh, once you, if you didn't open at this, at this exact, very exact moment, uh, once you finish your Zoom video call, uh, Zoom is going to pop uh, out a window with the meeting chat and also it's going to show you all the assets you have saved, like uh, the annotations you made on the screen. And so let's hit again the PNG and let's see if it's going to open. And I still have all everything in my screen. I'm going to clear the drawings and I'm going to close the annotation toolbar and I'm going to open this. And there you go. You have all the annotations in a PNG file, an image. And if you want to move to the sec next slide of your screen, you can clear everything, you know, you press the trash can and you clear all the drawings. And you can start making annotations all over again. And then you can again save uh, the annotations as a, an image or as a PDF. Keep in mind that Zoom says everyone in the meeting can save the things you share here and share them with apps and others. So uh, that's something to keep in mind uh, while you are sharing your screen and other people are making annotations, they can also save all the annotations to their uh, device. So there you go. If you want to close the uh, annotation toolbar, remember you can press the X here or you can press the annotate here and you can stop sharing your screen and there you go. That's how you annotate during a Zoom video call. I hope this video was helpful to you. See you next time. Bye bye.